Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cools Helipad. And I know what you're saying. <sighs> Why? No, that's not my bug. Well, it is now. That's my bug. TDI Diesel. Freaking awesome. This is a 1.8 turbo. So gasoline. And you might be saying, <laughs> Dave, you're breaking your rule. You know, don't try to polish a turd. I just love these cars and I and I have this parts car that is going to help me out and make this build very cheap and very easy. Stay tuned. Hundred and twenty nine thousand miles. And yes, it has some problems. Let's pull it up here in the shade so I can get a good look at the engine. It's got a few lights on. Mm-hmm. And it looks like it's been sitting for a little while. Needs some cleanup. Yeah. This is a nasty area for and a collection point for junk. Okay. And lastly key fob is toast. Wow, somebody's done some funky paint with that. That's awesome. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah, this is a problem with these uh, VWs because this is just plastic. When something gets hot, it tends to uh, melt it apart. Uh, it looks like Okay, okay, that's what they did. They put the black wire right on there. They just pulled it out of here and put it directly to hot. Well, I guess that works. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That timing belt is toast. And uh, uh, just a little reveal of what I've already seen with this engine and what I've done with it. So I got this car from the neighbor. He got it at auction. And I won't tell you how much, but it was pretty cheap. And, um, well, it drove it home, started overheating. I mean, almost right away, it started overheating. So make a long story short, we pulled the thermostat. I helped him. And... Um, we actually put the thermostat in boiling water and it never opened up. So, okay, that's, that's a problem right there. Got a new thermostat and to help it um, burp the system, drilled a very tiny, tiny hole at the very top of the thermostat plate so that air could come through and get burp that out. And when it's all burped, you don't have to worry about it. You know, it'll just be spraying a tiny little bit of antifreeze so it'll still warm up in the winter time it's just a very tiny hole so we got all that fixed and it was still overheating so we're like well what else could it be and so i popped so i took this off and i fed it back into the um, reservoir started it up and if the pump is working, this will start pouring water into the reservoir. Well, lo and behold, the pump is not working. And as you can see by the, the uh, timing belt, you know what? It's just time to go ahead and change the water pump, timing belt, tensioner, the works. And that's just uh, one of the issues this thing has. So let's get to work on that first. 
I also want to show you this little part here. You can tell it got smacked pretty hard um, right in the front. It did not damage the hood. But um, check this out. Okay, wide clearance, small clearance, wide clearance. So what did it do? Let me show you. Okay, so it bowed this whole thing. As you can see, it's about a quarter inch away here. Okay, and it also bowed this here, but they, you know, really tightened it down and actually uh, cracked it. Okay, while they were trying to tighten it down. And you can see it's still bowed right here. So they hit hard enough to bow both of the of the wheel wells and uh smack this pretty good did not damage the hood thank goodness i think we could repair that pretty easily i got parts right now how is it that i got this wonderful machine well it just became too much for the neighbor and uh, he just couldn't tackle it he's not in the greatest of health so i'm in a little better shape <laughs> let's go ahead and make this thing run again like it should and also, well, shoot, I really like the bug, man. It corners like crazy. Uh, sports car-like, it's so low to the ground, such a wide stance. Going around corners, it's just like, whoosh, it's like it is glued to the road. Um, I just really like them. And they're, I guess, somewhat fairly easy to work on uh, sometimes. So I'm gonna get started tearing this thing apart. And let's see if uh, I can do a really cool time lapse. At least get it torn down to a part where I could start working on the doggone thing. You got to be very careful when you're dealing with those headlights. You can see the one, somebody already broke it, trying to get it out. And because these are, these are tweaked, because it kind of took a little hit from the front, and uh, I'm going to take these off anyway, I felt like it was just a little bit better to remove these so I can get that uh, headlight out and not damage that plastic internal piece. I wanna to try to save that. Well, somebody really likes their zip ties, but you know what? Half the time, these things work better than uh, the stuff that they give you. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, they tend to fall out and this thing gets all wobbly and whatnot. So, zip ties are actually sometimes a pretty good idea. Well, a few unclipped wires later. Look at that. That's a pretty substantial blow right there. Even crack this. Looks like it, uh, there's a little crack right there. And yeah, you can see it kind of buckled the paint on the bumper shock. But I've got spare parts for that. Yeah, you can see that right here, it actually compressed all the way. It hit this part right there and bent <laughs> this back a little bit. So this got full compression. That'll need to be changed.
This is what's holding it on. Um, there were three of them on here. These three were actually on. Uh, these had fallen off. Um, there's actually a little flange right here, one here, and one here. And you can get to all of that once the uh, wheel cover or the wheel well cover is removed. Um, you can pretty much see where all of the all of the bolts are from there. So it's not bad, not not terribly easy, but heck, it's uh, tearing it apart. That's the easy part, right? Yeah, look at that. Wham! Look at this. Just sheared all of this. You could tell it got expanded. Wow. Yep, this one's done. Well, it looks like it also broke this out. Not only that, but cracked here. Check this out. Totally busted this. This is ginked and that's uh, cracked. So this is gonna have to be replaced as well. Mm -mm -mm. Well, hey, that's pretty good for part one of this restoration. I did get my parts in for the water pump and the timing belt and the tensioner. Join me next time when we install this and start getting this thing put back together. Until then, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless.